Now, if you want to filter routes based on the AS path, you have multiple tools depending on the vendor that you're going to use. For Cisco, it's called a filter list. And it allows you to filter routes based on the AS path. And you can apply it in the inbound direction for announcements coming towards you, or in the outbound direction for announcements that you are making. It's referenced in the BGP neighbor configuration as neighbor, the address, filter list, and then a number, and then the direction, whether it's in or out. The way you create the AS path is in the main configuration, you type IP AS path access list, and then a number, the same number that you're going to reference in the BGP neighbor configuration, and then either a permit or deny, and then a way to match the particular AS path that you want. For Cisco iOS, the AS path access list finishes with an implicit default deny. This is an example of a configuration that does it. So you have neighbor 102.10.1.1, and you have filter list 5 applied in the outbound direction, and filter list 6 applied in the inbound direction. As you can see at the bottom, you have IPS path access list 5 permit, and then um, a regular expression, and then IPS path access list permit, and then a different regular expression. We shall look at the way you construct these regular expressions next. The regular expressions are very similar to Unix regular expressions as defined in POSIX 1003.2. And according to this standard, a dot will match one particular character. The asterisk or the star will match any number of the preceding expression. The plus will match at least one of the preceding expression. The caret or the hat matches at the beginning of the line. The dollar sign matches at the end of the line. And to escape a particular regular expression character, you need the backslash. Then you have an underscore which can match at the beginning or at the end or wherever there is white space or just where there is a brace. Then you have the pipe, which is a way to use the logical OR. And then you have brackets to contain expressions that you can either group against other different match characters. And then you have square brackets to contain number ranges. Juniper has regular expressions very similar in construct to the Cisco ones, but with a couple of differences. Firstly, the entire AS number composes one term inside Juniper AS. It is not possible to reference individual characters within an AS number. So this is a strong difference from regular expressions as defined in the POSIX standard. This means that the square brackets operator will work differently as we shall show in the next slide. In addition, Juniper uses more of the extra operators as shown in the table that follows. Also, some operators have been changed in Junos's implementation. So this table shows you the main differences between the Juniper regular expressions. So if you have an operator in braces with a number m, comma, then a number n. That means that the previous expression must match at minimum n times and at most n times. m must, and n must both be positive integers and m must be smaller than n. If you have just m inside the brackets, then m repetitions must match exactly m times. m has to be a positive integer. If you have m and a comma with no n specified, then it's either m or more repetitions of the term, so from m to infinity. You can have a question mark, which means 0 or 1 repetitions of the term. This is equivalent to having 0, comma, 1. Now, these last operators in red are the ones which are different from the way Cisco does it. So the square brackets have a set of AS numbers rather than individual digits. The hat sign or the caret will match at the start of the regex, similar to Cisco, but for Juniper it's implicit because all regular expressions must match the entire AS path in Junos. So therefore, the hat sign is not necessary and is implicit in every regular expression. Similarly, the dollar sign must match at the end of a regex and it's also implicit, so it's therefore not required. Because 
each term is a full AS. The underscore is not used in Juno's regular expressions because each term is matched as an individual atom. So let's look at some examples as you have on the screen. These are examples of how you'd write to match inside Cisco IOS regular expressions. So that dot followed by the star means match anything. Dot followed by a plus means match at least one character. Then the next one, the hat or the caret followed by the dollar sign means match roots local to the AS because there is nothing inside the AS path. It's, an, it's a null AS path. So these are roots that the autonomous system number is originating. The next one shows you how you would match roots which are originated by AS1800. The next one shows you how you would match roots which are received from AS1800. The difference between the previous two is the first one is roots which are originated by AS1800 irrespective of how we are connected to them. The next one means we are directly connected to 1800 and we want any root that comes through that link. The next one shows you how you could do roots which have passed through 1800, either the beginning, middle, or the end. And the next one shows you how you'd say 790 followed by 1800, and then it could be in the middle, beginning, or end. In some cases, people might have prepends of their AS number, and the next one shows you how you match them. So you'd have multiple 1800s inside the sequence. Lastly, if you want to match something that is part of a confederation, you'd need to escape the brackets as shown with the backslashes. And this would match for this example, AS65530. This slide shows you the exact same way of implementing the same regular expressions as we have for Cisco, but in this case for Juniper. As you can see, they are more or less similar, except that you have a dot matching a full autonomous system number rather than a single character. This means that the third one is the main first difference that we see. So to match roots local to the AS, you just have the brackets without any spaces and inside quotation marks by themselves. To match anything originated by AS1800, you have the dot star followed by a space and then you have 1800. To match everything received from AS1800, you have 1800, a space, then a dot and a star, and so on and so forth. For the last one, since we do not match individual characters, you do not need to match the brackets. So to match AS65530 inside a confederation, you just have dot star, then 65530, then a space, then dot star. These are some not so simple examples of how to match an AS path length of 1 or 2 or 1 or 2 or 1, 2 or 3. And for Cisco, the way it's implemented is you have the range 0 to 9 inside square brackets. And then you have the plus, which means this 0 to 9 should match one or more times. So that will make a single AS. If you have a star, this means that these square brackets, or the, the character 0 to 9, will match 0 or more times. So that makes that match optional. This example is easily done in Juniper, and it's widely different because of the way things are matched. So to just match an S path length of 1, you just need a dot. A path length of 2, you need two dots with a space in between. An optional path length of 2 or 1, you have a dot followed by a question mark space and then another dot, and so on and so forth.